So we'll start looking at the reactions now of the carboxylic acids. And before we go into them, we'll just remind ourselves what acids are. Acids are proton donors. And you'll notice on the board there I've written carboxylic acids are weak acids. So they are going to partially dissociate into their ions. And obviously one of the ions will be this hydrogen is going to come off as a proton. And so what we're going to get will be this ion here and this ion here. And what we've got, therefore, is this is ethanoic acid, CH3COOH. This is CH3COO- minus, and this is the proton. This is obviously H+. Plus. The reversible arrows, remember, signify the partial dissociation or partial ionization. It's sometimes referred to as. One thing I would like to point out here is this is known as a carboxylate ion. And this carboxylate ion is called ethanoate. So ethanoic acid will partially dissociate into the ethanoate ion and the H plus ion. I'll just do one more and I'll explain why I've chosen this one in a second. So benzoic acid will do exactly the same as ethanoic acid. It will release this hydrogen as a proton. There it is there. And what's left over is the carboxylate ion, this negatively charged ion. And benzoic acid's corresponding carboxylate ion is called benzoate. The reason I've chosen that is the number of times students write on their work benzoate is too many. So I want to put it out there on the video. It's not benzoate, it's benzoate. So because carboxylic acids are acids, they will do the same sort of thing that the regular dilute acids that we study at AS, so sulfuric, nitric, hydrochloric, they'll do the same type of reaction with metals, bases and carbonates. The only difference being is that because they're weak acids, the reactions won't be as vigorous. So with metals, they will make a salt plus hydrogen. With bases, they'll make a salt plus water. And with carbonates, they'll make a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. So we'll have a look at those now. So we'll look at methanoic acid with the metal sodium. So we know we're going to get a salt and hydrogen. We'll put the hydrogen in first. So which salt will we get or what is a salt we could just look at now the H plus of the acid is replaced by a metal ion so remember when this dissociates it becomes it will become HCOO minus and the metal ion corresponding metal ion from sodium is Na plus and so there's the salt that we're going to get now there's a problem with that equation in the, in the fact that it's not balanced so I'm just going to put a half in front of that H2 to solve that problem there. If you don't like the half, just 2, 2, 2, 1 sorts it. Now, I've deliberately shown the charges there. Sometimes you see the charges shown in the salt. Sometimes you don't. So be familiar with both ways. I'll leave them in. So that salt will be called sodium methanoate. So we'll keep the acid the same, we've still got methanoic acid here, but we'll change the metal to magnesium now. It's still acid plus metal, so we're still going to get hydrogen. And we're still going to get a salt, so let's just think which, what will the salt be. We're going to lose the H as an H plus, so we're going to get HCOO minus, but the magnesium ion is Mg 
to plus. So it won't work just having one of the negative and one of the positive ions. So this salt has a slightly different formula. We need to pop that in a bracket and have two of those. And then that obviously, that two there gives us a two minus charge overall, which will balance out the two plus charge. So to balance that one, we need to put a two in front of there. And the salt's obviously called magnesium methanoate. We'll do one more. We'll go for benzoic acid with calcium. So benzoic acid written structurally looks like that. C6H5COOH. And there's kind of a sort of picture of it there. So again, we're going to get a salt plus hydrogen. So there's the H2. So we're going to lose this hydrogen as an H plus ion. So we're going to have C6H5COO minus. And remember, calcium, group two metal, so it's going to be Ca2 plus. Just move that plus there. Ca2 plus. We've got a problem. Sort it by the bracket. And obviously, we're going to need a two there to balance the equation. What would that be called? Calcium benzenoate? No, calcium benzoate. So we'll look at a couple of reactions of carboxylic acids with bases now. So I've gone for propanoic acid with potassium hydroxide. So remember, acid plus base makes salt and water. So we'll pop the water at the end there. So what's going to be the salt? We're going to lose the H as an H plus. So we're going to be left with CH3. CH2CO minus, that's going to be propanoate. Potassium's in group one, so it's going to be K plus. So the salt would look like that, and that's going to be called potassium propanoate. We'll do one more of these, I'm sure you've got the hang of them already. So we've gone for butanoic acid and we're not having a metal hydroxide now, we'll go for metal oxide, which is also a base, um, calcium oxide. So, what are we going to get? Acid plus base, salt and water, put the water in. So the salt, we're going to lose that as an H+, plus. we're going to left be left with the CH3, CH2, CH2, COO minus ion, that's butanoate. Calcium's group two, so it's Ca2 plus. Going to need a bracket. So we need that. That two means we're going to need two of those. And so what's this called? Calcium butanoate. And we'll finish the video with a couple of reactions of carboxylic acids with carbonates now. So remember the general equation, acid plus carbonate Give salt plus water plus CO2. And so the salt, we'll lose that as H plus. We're going to be left with HCOO minus. And we're going to have this calcium, but it's a 2 plus ion. So we need a bracket there. And so to balance this, we need a 2 in front of the acid. What's that going to be called? Calcium methanoate. And so the last one I'm going to do is going to be benzoic acid with sodium carbonate. Again, we're going to get salt, water and carbon dioxide. So let's think about the salt. We're going to replace this. Comes off as an H plus with a metal ion. So we're going to get C6H5COO minus Na plus this time because it's group one. So the ratio of positive to negative ions is one to one. Now, unfortunately, that's not balanced, is it? So we're going to need two of those. That gives us the two sodiums we need, but it doubles all of this. So we're going to need two in front of there. And I think, yep, yeah, that is balanced. What is this salt called? It's called sodium benzenoate. Oh, I've done it myself. Sodium benzoate.